I'm pleased to introduce today Aaron Haru, who is a former Clinton County Deputy Sheriff who served in that department from March 2002 until February 2013. Aaron has cystic fibrosis. And after months of working as a deputy sheriff using an oxygen tank, he was forced to apply for disability retirement. On February 8, 2014, Aaron received a bilateral lung transplant at Massachusetts General Hospital. As a result of Aaron's personal determination and desire to live his life to the fullest extent possible, he has worked to beat all medical expectations, returning to full health and physical condition, including returning to the ice to play hockey. The Massachusetts General Hospital medical director and the surgeon who performed the double lung transplant have both certified that Aaron Hero is physically fit to return to his position as deputy sheriff with absolutely no work restrictions. Rather than continue with his guaranteed permanent disability benefits, Aaron has asked to be reinstated as a deputy sheriff. I want to thank the chair of the Government Employees Committee, Mr. Peter Abadi, and later today we will be passing, with your support, Bill Number A10226, which will give Aaron the ability to go back to work as a Clinton County Deputy Sheriff. With Aaron today, in support of his efforts as they have been over the years, are his wife Victoria. Clinton County Sheriff David Favreau, Major Michael Reed, Lieutenant Nicholas Leon, and Sergeant William Dominey. Mr. Speaker, I ask that you welcome Aaron Haru to this chambers as a young man who is living proof of the value of organ donations, a man who instead of sitting home being paid for doing nothing, wants to go back to work in a position that he loves and does very well. He's an all around nice guy and I want to add that as proud a moment as this is for Aaron, Victoria, and the Sheriff's Department, it's a very proud moment for me. As my last introduction in this assembly, I am honored to be able to recognize Aaron Haru as an inspiration to those who are suffering illnesses and those who have overcome hardships that no one would have given them credit for doing. Please welcome him here. Certainly, Aaron, on behalf of Mr. Pree, the Speaker, and all the members, we welcome you here to the New York State Assembly. We extend to you the privileges of the floor. You've come on quite a morning. Thank you for sharing that morning with us. And to those who have come to support you from law enforcement, we thank you also for the work that you do on a regular basis and the work that you will return to, Aaron. Please always be welcome here. Uh, and also, the significance of having Ms. Dupree give you her final introduction is most important to all of us. I hope you appreciate how important it is. Thank you so very much. 